Hello friends, welcome to Maths Nerd. Today we will learn how to divide polynomials. So today we will learn how to divide polynomials using factorization. So if you are if you are going to divide polynomials using factorization, you must keep in mind that the uh, that there should be no remainder because uh, if there is a remainder, this method will not work. So let's start with a simple example x squared minus x minus 12 divided by x plus 3. So now we simply have to factorize the numerator. So we will uh, use the same method we used uh, in our factorization video to learn how to factorize trinomials. So the coefficient of x, x squared is 1 and of minus 12 is minus 12. So 1 into minus 12 is minus 12 while the coefficient of the middle term is minus 1 so the two pairs of number the the pair of numbers can be minus 4 and plus 3 so we can write minus x as x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 divided by x plus 3 so we can take x common in these two terms so it will be x times x minus 4 and 3 common in these two terms. So it will be 3 times x minus 4. All divided by x plus 3. Now we will take x minus 4 common. So we will have x minus 4 times x plus 3. So x plus 3 will cancel x plus 3 and our answer will be x minus 4. Now let's see a little, a little bit harder problem. But before that, I, I would like to remind you to please watch my factorization playlist. So here we have p squared minus q squared minus 2p plus 2q divided by p plus q minus 2. And we need to see in which way we can factorize so that we get at least one term or at least one factor in the numerator that corresponds to the denominator. So, p squared minus q squared, we can factorize it using a squared minus b squared identity, while minus 2p plus 2q, we can factorize by taking minus 2 common. So, we will have p plus q into p minus q is equal to p squared minus q squared, and minus 2 times p minus q is equal to minus 2p plus 2q. And this is divided by p plus q minus 2. So now we can take p minus q common in these two. So we have p minus q times p plus q minus 2. So we can take p, pl p plus q minus 2 cancels each other. So we have p minus q as our answer. Now let's see one more problem. Here we have a cube plus b cube plus a squared minus a b plus b squared. And we have already seen how to factorize sum or difference of two cubes. So a cube plus b cube can be factorized into a plus b into a squared minus a b plus b squared. And this will remain as it is, but just we have added brackets here. And the denominator is also a squared minus a b plus b squared. Now, as you might have guessed, we will take a squared minus a b plus b squared common. So we will have a squared minus a b plus b squared times a plus b plus 1 because the coefficient of this bracket was 1 divided by a squared minus a b plus b squared. So a squared minus a b plus b squared will cancel each other and we will be left with a plus b plus 1. Feel free to ask your doubts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos.